What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out a news report about the fashion brand that you've probably already heard of in the news, Balenciaga. Apparently they're doing some uh some shady things to say the least. Let's get into it. A cover story and the popular luxury brand Balenciaga is under fire for its recent ad campaign with children. Janae Norman has those details for us. Good morning, Janae. Good morning and happy birthday, Robin. Thank you. So Balenciaga is known for its edgy designs, the brand often pushing the envelope, but critics are accusing the brand now of crossing the line in this latest campaign. This morning, fashion house Balenciaga, a favorite of stars like Kim Kardashian and celebrated in songs by Lizzo Feeling fussy, walking in my Balenciagas. and Party B, I like those Balenciagas. facing backlash, accused of sexualizing children in a controversial new ad campaign. Accused. Accused. Mmm. The luxury brand now apologizing for these photos showing little girls in Balenciaga sweatsuits with plush bears and what appeared to be BDSM inspired harnesses and BDSM hardcore, right? Listen, I, again, some things just pop into my head. I wonder what people would have said if uh, Kanye was in this type of situation about his fashion. And let's not play stupid for a second we all know that they're gonna get some bad press but everybody knows bad press is good press right free advertising now people have seen oh look at look at that purse it's everywhere right and chances are people are going to remember this in two new cycles but that purse is probably going to stick with somebody right if kanye was caught in a situation like this everybody and his would have dropped them right they dropped them for less in my opinion don't judge me i'm not anti you know but they dropped him for that but then they're doing stuff like this i wonder who's going to drop them i wonder who's going to drop them it's not going to be the everyday person because they're not going to feel that they're going to pay a couple of pockets here do a couple of apologies there and then it's back to business as usual. Right? Yeah, thought so. These uncovered documents on the desk showing an excerpt from the 2008 U.S. Supreme Court opinion, U.S. v. Williams, which upheld the criminalization of pandering of child. We sincerely apologize for any offense our holiday campaign may have caused. Our plush bear bags should not have been featured with children in this campaign, adding that the doc a plush bear bag is for who? Who is it for? If not for. So let me get this right. They didn't say it's not for kids. It should have been featured with kids. It was, it... So it was for kids. It just, it shouldn't have been, it shouldn't have been so obvious. Is that what we're saying? Like, stop the crap, people. Like, that's freaking disgusting. And again, people like Kanye will get canceled for stuff like that. But I'm telling you, this is going to be one week, two week, three week most and gone. Sales are going to be right back up. Everything is going to be nice and fine and cool. And everybody's happy. They're making their money. And oh, yeah, we, we deleted the post. We deleted the campaign. When I see things like this, I tell my, I say to myself, this isn't a one link fail, meaning this wasn't some errand photographer, which is what they're basically trying to claim, right? I believe things like this, they come from <laughs> because who can be that brave on their own with a company like this? You know how many photographers would probably love to have their name attached to Valenciaga? And then one of them gets an opportunity like this. And yeah, yeah, they just screwed around and decided to drop some nuggets, some perverted nuggets, right? No, no, they were given their directions and they've, they fulfilled. They came through with this garbage. 
documents in the Adidas partnership, including a featured page from a child lawsuit, was unapproved. People with responsibility should be eyeing these campaigns. Yeah, Clearly, I'm buying all of that. Whoever sure. was in charge at Balenciaga failed at this. Critics sounding off on social media. One writing, I understand that a lot of Balenciaga's marketing is the shock factor of it all, but this is just disgusting. The luxury label aligned. Why? Why is it disgusting? Like, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot worse going on in the world right now than a kid holding a B BDSM. Um, um, plush bag. There's a lot worse going on in the world right now, right? No, no, no. Valenciaga read the temperature of the country and the world and said, yeah, yeah, this is the time for this. This is the atmosphere we're currently in. So no, to a certain extent, we have to blame the type of culture that is now spread worldwide that makes these companies believe things like this are, it's now acceptable. It's now acceptable. Well, it's not. You can only push and push and push and push certain things so far where, you know, when the parents started saying X, Y, Z, they ignored them. But then when we start seeing this, that's where the world is. Keep in mind now, I always say this, when people get mad at these large cor corporations about, oh, all they care about is money. I'm like, you can't blame a business for doing what a business does. It's their nature. Their nature is, to make money and grow. That's it, right? So when a company as big as them makes a decision like this, it's not without calculation. And it's not some one, oh, this person just, they decided to, oh, the, the paperwork, that was an idea, but the bag, we definitely made the bag, right? Well, the bag wasn't for the kids. It shouldn't have been with the kid. It should have been with who? With who? No, Balenciaga, you read the room correctly. You read it correctly. You just didn't think. You just didn't think that there might be some parts of the room that hasn't come around to the way the rest of the world sees this. You might be a little bit too ahead. You know, you jumped the gun, basically. Come on now, that's disgusting. With many big names, including Bella Hadid and Nicole Kidman, who are a part of the brand's spring 2023 line, has since removed those controversial images from its site. Everything about the picture will attract a child to it. There's a toy, there's another child, which is why I really think this can be so, you know, damaging. And Balenciaga also says of those documents shown with the bag from their Adidas partnerships that they're taking legal action against parties responsible for this. Excuse me. So you <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Maybe I didn't hear that correctly. Correct me in the comments. That, that th those images, including that document about child, you know, diddling was done in partnership with Adidas. Listen, I brought the Kanye situation into this because, it, you know, fashion and whatnot and uh, cancellations and whatnot. But Adidas is a part of this? I don't know. Co correct me if I'm wrong. Are they? But Kanye is the one that got canceled and they're out here doing this? Man, get out of here with that. That is a whole bunch of crap. This is one of those moments where the pot's calling the kettle black. No, check yourself first, Adidas, Valenciaga, all these big fashion brands trying to put the hammer down and pretend you guys are the, the moral equivalents of, of greatness because, you know, you shun Kanye, you put him in his place. And now look at you, caught up in a situation like this. Again, disgusting. Set. And it's worth mentioning that both of those companies, Balenciaga and Adidas, were just in headlines cutting ties with Ye over his controversial remarks. Guys, thank you. All right. Thank you so much. She said it. She said it. This is that hypocritical garbage. Hypocritical garbage. Here you are talking about, oh, this man is this and this man is that. The man already apologized for it, right? And you guys still stripped him of everything. Adidas, what are you going to get stripped from? Waiting. Balenciaga, what are you going to get stripped of? Huh? Not a freaking thing. Because that's how it works. 
the companies and the people in power get to make sure they keep certain people in their positions. It's wrong. 100% wrong. Guys, I know I got a bit worked up about this, but I just hate hypocrisies. I hate seeing people get walked over and seeing certain individuals and companies play a card like they're so high and mighty when the truth is they're peddling the same trash, the same toxic garbage that's created the culture we currently have today. Guys, thank you for, thank you for kicking it with me today. This is one of those other moments where I say, want some cat videos? I'm going to go watch some cat videos. We need to de-stress. Thank you for kicking it with me again, guys. See you in the next one, all right? Peace.